Last month, in a last-minute addition to its lineup, the Cannes Film Festival announced the decision to premiere Revolution of Our Times, a documentary that chronicles China's violent suppression of protests which was sparked by the introduction of a controversial extradition bill in Hong Kong. While many called it a cautious de decision by the festival organizers to avoid drawing Beijing's ire, the film's premiere became a life-changing event for film's director, Kiwi Chow, who now lives in fear of an imminent arrest. The 152-minute Cantonese language documentary had been a top secret and high-stakes project for the director, one that he had been working on for two years. I have been a feature film director, but there was too much going on in Hong Kong society. Everything was happening so fast. I didn't have the chance to go out during the umbrella movement, but then during the anti-extradition law, it was like another opportunity for me. Like, aren't you going to try to do it this time? Would I not do anything again or would it help to do something, get out and record it? This gave me my mission. Named after a popular protest slogan that has been banned in Hong Kong, Revolution of Our Times represents presents a chronology and overview of the 2019 anti-China extradition protests and a close-up look into seven groups of protesters, including frontline protesters, elders, first aid responders, journalists, parents, and more. <laughs> Liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our time. I think using this phrase is the best title for this film because this documentary is not about just one incident, like the Legislative Council incident or the 21st of July incident. It's to explain the whole situation, everything that happened. Because if you just concentrate on one incident but not what happened before, you might make a judgment but not have the whole picture. I wanted to make it whole, the whole thing, so I used this name for the title. China introduced a sweeping national security law a year ago to crack down on what it deems subversion, secessionism, terrorism and collusion with foreign forces. Cinemas, universities and art galleries were forced to cancel screenings or exhibitions of protest-related work. The Hong Kong government also enacted new guidelines that allow authorities to censor films on the basis of safeguarding national security. Despite China's crackdown on cinema, Chow is adamant to help the movement. Using this phrase nowadays in Hong Kong is really dangerous because this kind of expression will be made a crime under the national security law. But I want to stay normal. I have lived my life in Hong Kong for so many years. I want the freedom that the basic law guarantees. I want to see how this works out. If my behavior is still considered normal, I know there is a risk of being arrested. It's political. It's something the whole world knows, that the situation in Hong Kong is like this. Fans ...that he could get arrested and therefore handed over the distribution rights and the footage of the film to a foreign friend. It's unclear when the film will be released to the public. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.